We don't really need Chainsaw Man, do we? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. So hear me out, hear me out. I have been a fan of Chainsaw Man since I've read it about three years ago and I've, I've been on the Chainsaw Man fan grind since then. I love Chainsaw Man. But I'm kind of sick that everyone is just talking about just Chainsaw Man when we have this fantastic season. Like, I'm gonna say it, if we didn't have Chainsaw Man this season, this would have still been the best season of this year. And that's why I titled this video in a bit of a controversial way, because I want you Chainsaw Mans to see that there is other stuff than just Chainsaw Man. For example, right here we have Mob Psycho 3. And if you haven't seen Mob Psycho 2, I highly, highly recommend it. It's in my top 10 favorite anime of all time and it should be in yours too if we're being honest here. If you've seen something like One Punch Man, it has all the best traits of One Punch Man just in a more personal story. The anime protagonist is OP, it's hella hilarious but it got some real heart to it even more than One Punch Man in my opinion. And the action scenes are beautiful so be sure to not miss out on Mob Psycho 3. The next one on the list is My Hero Academia 6 and I'm gonna be honest I've stopped watching My Hero Academia because it got quite bad. But from a friend of mine, I've heard that season 6 should be absolutely amazing. It's a new arc and I think it focuses also a lot on the villain part from what I've heard. And it should really bring back that Boku no Hero hype. Spy Family Part 2. Now, I don't think I need to add anything there. I don't think we'll see the past of Lloyd just yet. But if we see the past of Lloyd, there will be a major plot point and it will really elevate Spike's family as a series. So I'm really hyped for part two as well. I highly recommend that as well. Now we got our continuation for Bleach as well. Even if you're not a Bleach fan, Bleach has done so much for the community that you should care about Bleach, even though you have never watched it. So that's a major anime as well that comes out this season. Next up, we have To Your Eternity. If you've not seen the first season, I think that's really a shame. I haven't seen the first season yet but I know what the author is capable. Kueno Katachi is one of my favorite mangas of all time, and I'm sure that this will be a very sad journey. So that's also very promising. Next up, we got one of my favorites and that's Blue Lock. I've recommended Blue Lock ever since I've read it about a year ago. I've recommended it to every single person that I know because Blue Lock is absolutely amazing. I'm not a big sports manga head, but I believe if the Blue Lock author has one talent, then it's to make sports fun especially football. And I mean, just look at the manga sales. They have been incredible. So Blue Lock is also a series that, in my opinion, will be the best sports manga this year. We got other smaller stuff that I wanted to mention. Uh, Dominance in the Shadow. This has just been a really funny, funny manga. I've read the first volume about a month ago. It's an isekai, but it's way more of a comedy than an isekai. The main character gets reborn and he just fucks around, does random stuff and it somehow works. So this is definitely a show that you're just going to watch because it's fun and it's not something really deep. Next up, what I also think is very interesting is Co Golden Kamui season four. The Golden Kamui fanbase in general has been a bit on the more silent side, but if you've entered in the community, everybody agrees that Golden Kamui is one of the greatest things they ever seen. So uh, if the scores are anything to go by on my anime list, like here, 8.5, then I think you can expect something for the fourth season. And then something really interesting, we got an OG here, Urusai Yatsura. Now, I personally never watched the show, but I know many, many people that love old anime have watched this. And I mean, you know this girl, she's iconic. She has done a lot for, for manga. She has done a lot for anime and she has done, She I think she was one of the reasons that actually created waifus and waifu culture. Uh, so this is definitely also the season of just anime history in general because they're bringing back so many old and fantastic classics that did so much for the industry and that's why just in general i feel like it's such a shame that only chainsaw man gets exposure now i love chainsaw man again i feel like this will be the greatest anime this year in general but we don't have to overlook all the others and I really wanted to make a chainsaw video but I feel like it has been covered so much that I don't see a point in it anymore. Like people already love Chainsaw Man, it's super big and those shows are kind of getting overshadowed in, in the public eye and I feel like that's a shame. But anyways, that's just my take. What is your opinion? What else are you hyped for this season besides Chainsaw Man? This was just a quick little video and I'll see you next time. Bye.